So D Fairway Bunkers, we've got ourselves in a really quite a difficult uh, spot here because we've got a second fairway bunker directly past this one. We've got a fairway down here, one fairway bunker, two, and the pin in that Long direction and there. the second fairway bunker's quite high as it well. It is, it is. This one's not too bad, but that one's uh, a little bit higher. So we, we thought we'd do our um, very popular sort of series of what you should do depending on your level of play. So we're going to give you three options, the A grade option, the B and the C. And I think no matter what our handicap level, the first consideration we should have when we're in a bunker is what do we need to get over this first slip here? That's right. And then even the next one. But what do we need? So What club do what, we want to what choose? What club do we need to get out yep. over that? So if I... I don't want to always go for distance, so I say, I can get over this with a 7 iron, then I'm going to take an 8 iron. Yes, exactly, because that gives you a, a little bit of room for error to make sure you get out, because you may sacrifice some distance down the fairway doing that, but you guarantee that you're going to get over the lip. Nothing worse than finding yourself back in here again. You want to get it out. So. so the priority isn't always distance, but to get it back into play. Exactly, that's right. So the lower marker can go for more distance. Unfortunately, they just have more skill level. That's right, yeah. or, or fortunately. Or fortunately, for them. they have more skill level. <laughs> that's right. So our A-grade shot, we're going to choose a hybrid because I know I can get over this lip and I also know that I can get it pretty comfortably down there and even give myself a chance to get on for three for Good. the par five. What about the B grader? Where are we going? B grader, we thought because this bunker is quite close and it's not a very long carry, we'd come around to the left, keep away from the trees a bit and just play a short shot with a seven iron seven. because and we feel we can... Some might do it with a six, some with an eight. What That's right, eight? depending Something. how comfortable you are yeah. to get it over that lip. And then our C grader D. I think our C grader needs to go straight out onto the fairway yes. with maybe a pitching wedge, pitching nine wedge. Line, something like That's that, right. just to get them out yes. onto the fairway back into play. Because exactly. they've got several shots to exactly. play with. And, you know, bunkers are hazards. They're not yeah. meant to That's be right. Easy. Just get it back out. So, D, what is the main thing technique-wise that's different for a fairway bunker than it is for a greenside bunker? You see, everyone knows this. We're just telling you what you know. The important thing with a fairway bunker shot is you do not want to take sand That's for right. the ball. That's, That's right, which is what you normally do on a greenside. A green side you bunker. play that splash technique where you hit the sand and the ball, but in a fairway bunker, you're treating it as if you're on the fairway pretty much. So what do you, I generally just play it back in my stance, just a play little bit. Play it back in your stance a little bit. Go Try and stay, the grip little, go, go down. down the grip a little bit. And the only other thing is just to stay a little bit more steady with your lower half. 100%. Which, those three things. Do you think that makes you feel like it's a little bit more that you're not going to slip around That's here. right, just keeps so you a bit more stable doesn't uh, it? Don't try I, to hit it too hard no, in a bunker. Exactly. It's so important to hit the ball first. If you take any sand before the ball, it's just going to flub out for you and you don't want it, or not even out. You just want to get it. You just want to get it out. You want to almost just take it off the ground. You not to hit clip, the, it, clip it off the top yeah. is, your, is your goal. So that's why it's important to take more loft because if you do hit it a bit thinny, thin, 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 it's still going to get it's gonna it. It's going to lift it up and out. Yeah, but I think exactly. it's just important. Smooth swing. Don't try Smooth and belt swing. it. Don't try Stay and hit it too hard. Stay in your comfort zone. Stay in no tension. That's Let's it. get it back in So our, our, our main things for a fairway bunker shot are... Ball in the middle. Ball in the middle, so a little bit further back than it would normally be. Take a little bit more, uh, a bit more loft yes. than you normally would and try and stay a little bit more stable with that bottom half. And down the grip. Just oh, and down the grip, that's right, down the grip. And do not take the sand before the ball. Aim for the ball. Sometimes people talk about aiming for the front, but keeping your eye on the front of the ball. Do you like that? No. <laughs> makes me go giddy in the head. Like, I just think it it's sounds, just It sounds good in theory, doesn't it, Dee? It sounds good in theory, but... Yeah, well, this, particularly if you're, a very, if you're a high handicap and you're already likely to top the ball, I think aiming at the front is going to make you more likely to top it. A, I think we've done this before. Remember in one of our videos, which people can look at, even here, still hit into that little wedge. Yeah, that little wedge, exactly. Yeah. But it's the same as the same as your normal fairway shot. Okay, let's All right, so we've, we've so all we do is same technique, no matter what a skill level, change the club. That's why you have Yeah, them. that's right. If you can't remember those three things, do nothing differently <laughs> except change the club and then try to tip it off the top. So um, you can't ground your club, obviously, when you're in a bunker, same as a fairway bunker. I'm going to try and keep myself nice and steady with my bottom half. I've moved my ball a little bit back. I'm going to try and keep it very smooth when I play this shot. Nice and straight. Yep, happy Excellent. with that one. Well happy done. with that one. Thank you, thank you. And then we're going to go for our uh, seven iron for the B grader. So that's going to be aiming. Thank you, Dee. 
Nice. <laughs> yeah, do that, that's wonderful. I'm going to aim a little bit more across to the left here. So we are still going over this second bunker yeah. because we're, com we're comfortable that we can get over that. As long as we play it correctly. If yeah. you don't, well, and, you know. and even when your skill level isn't the same as the A grader, you've got a club that's going to do the work for you. That's so right. We've got a seven iron. It's a fairly safe, safe option. Yeah. Again, we can't ground our club. Keep nice and steady and ball back slightly. That was nice. Pro, <laughs> Thank you, dear. <laughs> I did hit that one well. You did All right. Hit that one well. Ooh, and then we've got one more shot for our a C grader. And we're just going to come out onto the fairway over here. So we don't need a very big swing because we're literally just, but we're still playing the same uh, fairway. Yes, pitching wedge I've given you. Pitching wedge, yes. I'm a very good caddy. I put it on the nice line. I'm available for hire. Okay. <laughs> You're doing a great job. So now I'm going to aim at his skews, looking at my behind. But we're just going to play a, like a pitching wedge shot where you pick it off the top. Are you going to do like a thinking you're a C grader? You're just going to do a nice assertive, but not a full swing. That's yet. right, like a half swing because we haven't got far to go here. Yeah. We just want to get it back onto the fairway. Always still not being. That's it. Pretty. So not only am I a good caddy, but I'm also becoming a camera. Yes, just gives us a little bit better angle so oh, people yeah, can so see. You can see what, what we're trying to do. She's not going over that bunker, she's going out onto the fairway. And we're yes, playing, exactly. we're playing pretty much just like a normal pitch shot, but we're picking it off the top. Yes. All right, so we're just wanting to what go. What does picking it off the top mean to you? I'm just wondering if picking it off the top. You mean you're getting the ball first? Yes, we don't want to go too low beneath yeah. it because the ball won't come out properly. So it's a pitch shot in a bunker, essentially. And I'm just aiming out for this safe area here. People might get it a little thin or whatever. It's still got enough loft so it That's gets right. Over. That's right. I did, actually didn't hit that all that well. You're trying. No, but you're trying to be more like a C grader. <laughs> oh, I succeeded. No. Okay, so that's our three options out of our fairway bunkers. Hopefully that's helped you next time you're in a fairway bunker and you're trying to work out what to do. Yeah, just play it simple, do the same thing, just let, pick the right club. Pick the right club, and that's the And we can all key. do that. We can yeah. all pick the right club. That's right. We may not be able to swing exactly like a pro or that's an A right. grader, yeah. but we are smart and we can pick the right yeah, club. Yeah, exactly. Control the things you can control, yeah. which is your club choice and things like that. So have right. you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye. Sorry. <laughs> we probably always tend to do it better the second time anyway, I reckon. I thought that was going well. It was going well. Damn it. So, D. <laughs> we can't dirty those beautiful shoes. Yeah, this is good. You can see the sort so of technique. Just show that you're going that way. That's right, back onto the fairway back there. Onto the fairway, about 60 metres, 50 Yep, not a very long one. So it's, it's literally like a pitch shot, but I just happen to be in the bunker. So I'm going to try and, again, clip the ball off the top if I can. <laughs> no, 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 we don't have to do it again. But should, do you want to come around and stand in front? No, leave the camera so we can stand in front. <laughs>